We're David and David, and you're at Outsider Tart in London, an American-style bakery, and today we're going to show you some tips and tricks on frosting and finishing cakes. I'm going to show you how to make cream cheese frosting for carrot cake. So what we have here is everything we're going to need to make a, a cream cheese frosting. Um, we have caster sugar in our bowl, about a cup and a half. Uh, we have our cream cheese, which is a pretty key ingredient, and our second fat, which in this case, um, I'm a big fan of mascarpone, so we're using mascarpone. You can also use butter in this case, um, but for my personal preferences, it's mascarpone. Um, the ratios of cream cheese to your other fat uh, should be um, twice as much cream cheese as you have uh, with your butter, or in this case, mascarpone. Uh, and also, the last but not least, a little vanilla flavoring to, to really pull it all together. So first we're going to put our bowl uh, on our mixer with our caster sugar. Then we'll add in our cream cheese. In a very graceful manner. There it goes. Get it all in there. And then our secondary fat, which is our mascarpone. Sometimes you can also take the just take the bowl off the mixer. I'm being a bit lazy at this point. There we go. We have it all in. We put our blade on, and you're just going to cream these together. Now. Cream cheese frosting can be a bit persnickety. Uh, sometimes your cream cheese will collapse on you. It'll become very liquidy, uh, especially when you're having to mix it quite a bit if you're using butter. Uh, one of the things that really works nicely uh, and doesn't alter the flavor of your frosting is to use a squeeze of lemon juice. The citric acid in the lemon juice recurdles the cream cheese and actually pulls your frosting together very, very nicely. And since cream cheese already has that slightly acidic um, sharpness to it, uh, you don't notice the lemon juice within your frosting. So ours is uh, well creamed together now. We're going to add a little bit of vanilla to give it some flavor. And then all we're going to do is scrape this down. Make sure it's all mixed and mix some more if we need to. But be very careful about over mixing because um, it will separate and you will have to use the citric acid to pull it back together. So it's a good fix if you find yourself in trouble, but ideally you don't want to have to get there. So there we go. That looks great. So here you have a cream cheese frosting. And that's how you make cream cheese frosting for a carrot cake. 